During a Republican event in the state capitol in West Virginia, a woman was displaying some questionable images. One that featured Representative Ilhan Omar, a Muslim representative from Somalia, and a picture of the Twin Towers on fire. So if you can see on the right hand side, you can see the picture of Representative Omar and then the Twin Towers right above her. Now, there were some Democrats who approached this woman as this was displayed. And we're gonna show you what that interaction looked like in just a minute. And then I'm gonna give you some more details on what this was all about. Take a look. I'm curious. No, I really don't wanna talk about it because I know that, I know how you guys work on the left. You cut things out, you don't tell the whole story. I'll post this whole video. I'm just curious why you have that sign here today. Well, I have a reason. I mean, you're the one who put it up, right? I so, am, you want to make a statement? I am the one that put it up, yes. Okay. But I, have, I have no further comment to make to you. You want to talk about what the sign means or why you brought it here? I mean, it's a public place. This is a public yeah. area. This is a public It's a public place, and that's why I'm free to bring it. Do you not think it's kind of racist? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Well, then what is, what's the proof that we've forgotten about 9-11? Can you tell me that? No, I'm not going to discuss it with you any further. Do you think this sign's appropriate? Have a nice day, sir. Do you think this sign's appropriate? Have a nice day. So for those who might be listening to the podcast or audio version of this, the sign with the Twin Towers reads, you said you'd never forget. And then the sign with Ilhan Omar, which is right below it, says, I'm proof that you've forgotten. So essentially making a point about terrorism, even though Representative Omar had absolutely nothing to do with what happened on 9-11. Yeah, so there's going to be a positive twist in this story, but not yet. <laughs> so Representative Omar was from Minnesota, and she originally immigrated from Somalia and was a refugee. And it's a wonderful, heartwarming story about how immigrants can, if they work hard, rise up in America and become Congress people, that's amazing, that's wonderful, that's a testament to America. But obviously some people don't view it that way. And and a lot of the Republicans in defending this poster in West Virginia said, hey, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. <laughs> I, it's funny how it only applies when you say racist things. But yeah, I mean, if, if you criticize them in any way, they have a meltdown over it, right? Yeah. But when it comes to this type of display, and again, this is in the, in the state capitol building, they're so, okay with that. I mean. It just happened earlier this week. Uh, Rashida Tlaib insinuated that Mark Meadows might have done a racist act. He not only melted down, he wanted it stricken from the record. Eh, free speech for me when I say racist things, but not so much for you when you call it out. So, but to me, the simplest thing is, well, you say you're for free speech, and he's asking you, why did you put up the sign? Right. If you're proud enough to bring the sign and display the sign, why don't you tell us why you think a United States Congress person has anything to do with 9-11? So my guess is that you're connecting them because of radical extremist Muslims did 9-11, and a totally non-radical, perfectly normal United States Congresswoman is also Muslim. But you tell us, I mean, you're the one who wants the free speech. Okay, I have I have many things to say, including more details about you know this event and and how some of the delegates in West Virginia reacted to it. But before I get to those details, I just want to note that who was behind 9/11, right? Right. So the Saudis played a role in 9/11, a pretty significant role. And that woman is very much supportive of Donald Trump, Mike Pence. You see the signs in addition to that horrible display of Representative Omar. And Trump supports Saudi Arabia at any and all costs. Like they will chop up journalists and Trump will still support Saudi Arabia. By well, the way, Representative Omar opposes Saudi Arabia on the issue of Yemen. Yes. Right. So, but let's dig further into that in terms of never forgetting. Well, the problem is that most of the people that were part of 9-11 that day were Saudis. But the reason why Saudis were involved was a reaction to Americans occupying Saudi Arabia during the first Gulf War. And I'm not saying that hitting the Twin Towers is a reasonable reaction to it, but continuing to have a military imperialistic relationship with Saudi Arabia is gonna actually probably invite more um, further attacks and we if we're not actually targeting the issue um, and then using a black Muslim woman with a headscarf as the scapegoat and that's what's been 
phenomenal, which is that there are more Muslims in Congress. Rashida Tlaib is one. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they target Ilhan Omar is very intentional. And that's, she, with that image, as you can see, she has a headscarf on. So already before she speaks, and she is a black woman, mm -hmm. um, she's already scaring the GOP and far right. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, the woman who didn't want to explain herself. Uh, so her name is actually Brenda Arthur. And uh, I wanted to look into her, just see like what her background is. Obviously, she's politically active. And I found this article uh, written by a local paper in West Virginia dating back to 2015. And look, there are great people in West Virginia, you know, they're not all right wingers, obviously. And so there was this rally in support of allowing Syrian refugees to come to the United States and settle in West Virginia. So these, you know, wonderful people are having this rally. And then across the street, you have Brenda Arthur, that very woman that you saw in the video. And she was arguing. No, this is terrible. In fact, I want to read you her quote. Again, this is from 2015, Graphic 30. Our country is being invaded by all kinds of people, and now our government is complicit in it. These people are not compatible with our values, our culture, our language, even the part of the world they come from, the climate. Uh, should we attack Arizona now? <laughs> <laughs> but like my my point is she's She's afraid, right? right? Like she's bought into the fear mongering. She's so terrified of them. And a lot of that fear stems from ignorance. So do you think she knows about how the Saudis were involved in, in that 9-11 attack? Probably not. And so ignorance uh, you know, leads to fear. Fear leads to hate. And that is the epitome of what you see there with Brenda Arthur. It was very Yoda-esque. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, but I want to now turn to the twist of good, the good folks in West Virginia. Anna partly referred to the, the rally in West Virginia to protect refugees. That's wonderful, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, some of the Democrats were so upset that the Republicans got triggered by their reaction. They're like, well, I think that you overreacted to this situation, and we're now calling for civility, okay? That's hilarious. The Republicans have to find a way to be a victim. They're always like, oh my God, I need a safe space. I need yeah. and, but, uh, but the guy they needed a safe space in this case, there's a number of wonderful Democrats that spoke out. But uh, Delegate Mike Caputo in particular, yes, uh, he apparently kicked the door open in, uh, in the house, which is kind of awesome. He was, he was so, so mad, mad. Yeah. yeah. So he actually kicked the door open to the uh, chamber. Um, uh, during the prayer that apparently starts each day's floor session. So now, they're like- see, that's that's the West Virginia I love. <laughs> okay. So they're in there praying, and yeah. he's like so angry about that hateful display that he kicks the door open. I don't know if he added. I can't accept that. Right. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, this story was originally brought to my attention by Richard Ojeda, mm -hmm. who was also furious about it, and uh, and bless his heart. Uh, and Caputo said, "I'm the one who kicked the door open. That's how angry I was. I went over that poster, and I said it was a racist poster." So. I don't want you guys to, look, I know West Virginia voted overwhelmingly for Trump. And I know we got issues in West Virginia and we gotta figure out how to get people the right information so they can vote in a way that actually benefits them instead of hurts their interests. But don't think that it's a monolith. There are great people like Caputo and Ojeda mm -hmm. and Paul Jean Swearingen who are fighting for the right things in, in West Virginia and, and fighting mad about it, which I love. Yeah, but but I also did not like the fact that Caputo was kind of cornered to apologize mm -hmm. for his reaction. He said his emotions got the best of him, and was almost the same way that Rashida was to love um, was cornered by Cummings to clarify to make sure that she didn't call Meadows a racist. Okay, so I I love that you brought that up because it was the second time where look, and I get what she's doing because she doesn't really apologize if you pay close attention to what she's saying. But this is now the second time. The first time was when she said in regard to Trump, I'm gonna impeach the mother effer, right? Mm -hmm. And then later, you know, she goes on cable news and there was all this pressure for her to apologize. How dare you, that kind of language is so unbecoming, even though we're talking about Donald Trump, <laughs> who says some of the most hideous things imaginable. And she kind of apologized and I hated it, I hated it because Girlfriend, do not apologize for that sass, okay? Because we need that, we need a fighter. And you're right, you're right, what you're saying is correct. Do not 
allow them to force you to apologize for who you are and what you're saying because you're right about what you're saying. Right, and for defending Caputo, defending a very vulnerable junior member of Congress who is now made into a poster child of hate on and fear on, on the GOP side. But, but look at that, guys. He wasn't the only one, there was a, a, a number of wonderful Democrats that defended Ilhan Omar and were deeply upset. Look at all those great Americans defending yeah. a Muslim woman wearing a hijab in Congress. Mm -hmm. And that insulting her and insulting Muslim Americans made them so mad they kicked the door open. Look, there is still a greatness in America and, and we just have to get, make people aware of, of what what the country originally stood for, Caputo understands, so many others there understand that we're supposed to be accepting of everyone and that we grow together and that we're stronger together. And, and that you have to judge people based on their ideas, not based on their religion or race. Like what you see, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.